Good morning, YouTubers. My name is Martika, and this is my first tutorial. I am going to be doing a tutorial today on a half wig. And I am a very big fan of half wigs simply because they're quick and they're easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get started today because I am on my way to work. First of all, I have my headband around my neck. And as you can see today, my theme color is green. And I always like to match my eyeshadow to my scrubs. I just picked up the uh, four color green tip from Michi's site. And thank you, Michi, for that. And um, th this is what I'm going to sport today. So I am going to start by showing you the half wig that I'm wearing. It's by Sensational, and it's number HZ7030. And this is what she looks like. Very pretty, kind of a wavy, curly pattern. And I got her in a 1B. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm telling you. So I got, got her in a 1B. And she doesn't really have a name. I haven't named her yet. But this is what she looks like. This is her curl wavy pattern right here. And I've already sprayed her down with my control wig, which I love. Thank you for the tip, Spiritual Gal 07. I really love this stuff because it really helps keep my wigs under control. And she has a long comb in the front, which I love. She also has a long comb in the back, which I also love, but not as long as it is in the front, which is, makes sense. And she also has the adjustable strap. So you can adjust it to whatever setting you need to to fit your head. And I have my wig cap on. Before I put that on, I'm going to put my other clip in on the side. Another tip that I picked up from Felicia on Spiritual Gal, uh, my wig caps have a tendency to kind of slide back. So I went and got some of these clips from Walmart. You can pick them up at Walmart, Dollar General, wherever, for like a dollar, and it really helps keep my wig cap in place. Now, normally, I don't leave any hair out for my half wigs. I just put them on and flip on a headband. But because I have a fresh perm, thanks to my sister who takes very good care of my hair, we're in the growing out process, and it's growing very well after I cut it all off. Um, <laughs> we're, we're bringing it back. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit out today to blend in with my wig. So we're going to go ahead and start. I'm just going to take my long comb, and I'm attaching it right in the front of my wig cap. And I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera as I'm speaking, if you're wondering where my eyes are going. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it in the back. And it fits pretty good, but because I'm just kind of anal like that, I am going to go ahead and secure it on the sides with my bobby pin. Just a regular size bobby pin. Don't want to go too long because you don't want it sticking out of the, the sides in the back of your wig. So I'm just pretty much just giving myself some extra security to keep me centered on my job today and not on my wig, not centered focused. Focus. So we got it attached, got it secure, feels pretty good. Now I'm going to blend my hair in. I'm going to use my powder brush, the same brush that I use to brush out my wig. And I really like using this on my own hair because it doesn't pull and tug as much as a regular brush does. And I use it with the little balls too because it seems to not break my hair. Could just be me, but it's working for me. So. It's all blended in. Mainly I'm, I'm more so concerned about covering this on the front because I am going to be putting my headband on top of that. And I already have my headband around my neck because I don't like wrestling with my hair after uh, trying to put the headband on after I put my half wig on. Yes, it's sequins. I'm going to be sparkling today, but I am a girly girl. And so I like to look that way all the time. So now I have my little green sequence headband on. I got my green eyeshadow on, got my green scrubs on, and it is no question what color I'm wearing today. And no, it's not St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my designer touch. My old faithful toothbrush, not the one I brush my teeth with. Let's get that straight now. And I'm just going to 
give myself a little smooth down on the sides here. Although I have a fresh perm, sometimes my baby hairs like to fly away. Or should I say my young hair, because I am not a baby anymore. That has been proven. So I am just going to smooth these sides down a little bit. As you can see, my hairs are just a little bit long on the side. They just grow that way. I've always had a lot of hair, and although I tried to cut it off, it just keeps coming back real fast. I just come to the conclusion I might as well just go ahead and grow it back and leave it alone. Okay. Get that a little bit more smooth. Now, you can do this before. Sometimes I do it before. I put my headband on. Sometimes I do it after. It really doesn't matter. Got my earrings on. Face is done already dressed, and I'm ready to go. So this is just to show you that just because you, if you're in the medical field, I see so many women that who is in scrubs and no makeup, hair is a mess. Just because you're wearing scrubs don't mean you have to look like one. So do your best with what you got. Don't have to go over the top with coughs or anything. Just do your best with what you have and look beautiful. And not only look beautiful, like my mom always told me, Pretty is as pretty does. So check your attitude, too, because it's always beyond the beauty of what people see on the outside. Thank you, and have a good day. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.